and this is them boys. And I am the more handsome brother, Jay, the two-time world champion, the greatest athlete of the family. You guys' his background. So what can we expect when you two are face-to-face -face in the ring? You can expect me to whoop a man's ass. <laughs> hey. I was about to say the same thing. You can expect me to whoop his ass. Yeah, well, 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 you know what, buddy? You got this ass whooping coming, so you, hey. you, you, hey, you respect me when you speak. Now, you understand? You already done disrespect me enough, hey, and I'm hey, not hey, through hey. with it. Hey, just because you got that hat on, don't think that you bad. I don't know what to do right now. I'm, like, stuck in the crosshair. <laughs> um, what are the pros and cons of being in a tag team with your family? Well... Go ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, go be, ahead. Please, please be my guest. Well, I mean, pretty much like you said, I mean, you know, like we, I can't really get rid of his ass. I'm stuck with him. So, I mean, when we have our differences, we just kind of got to hash it out like this with a good old fist fight. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like pretty much get it. rid of a brother. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, the pros and cons, the, the, the pros being, you know, we have, uh, uh, have, chemistry that cannot be touched on any level you know what i mean when we're on the same page we're on the same page we're rocking and rolling we like a well old machine if you know what i'm saying and uh i know what the man thinking before he even thinking it and i know what he gonna do before he even doing it and i think it's vice versa and for as far as the cons go is when he act like a jackass like he's been acting like for approximately the past six to eight months <laughs> yeah we just been we basically been a tag team since since i you know what i mean since Mama brought me home from the hospital as a newborn baby. He's 11 months. He, he ain't even a full year older than me. And so, yeah, I know what he's thinking. He know what I'm thinking. We got you don't know you know, a couple. Uh, you, don't, you don't know what I'm thinking. Man, look, uh -oh. see, look, I'm tired of you. Now, now, now listen. I'm, I'm tired I, of you. I I'm take all that you. back. What makes us our successes as a tag team completely hinges on my skills and my abilities. Because my partner ain't been doing nothing but dragging me down. Ain't been doing nothing but dragging my dang for all these years. And dang on it, I'm tired of it. Hey, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm beat I'm gonna beat the pants off. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about that, Jake? <sighs> hey, come on now. Hey, I'm a two-time world champion, baby. I got the title reigns to prove. What you ever want? Stop for a tag team title that I carried you to. Huh? Answer that. <laughs> Well, the tricking is that we got nine kids among us, and then our sister got two youngins. And I bet that we're gonna have a, a, a at least I bet we're gonna have some of them in the wrestling ring. I guarantee you. Hey, hey speaking but, of the hey. kids, did y'all do y'all know this? This past weekend, we was at a parent's house, and all of Mark's six children all told me they was rooting for me this weekend <laughs> in the man, man, look, house uh -oh. divided. They said, you know what? Our daddy needs to learn a lesson. I said, don't worry. Don't worry, our nieces and nephews. I'm going to give it to them. Man. <laughs> we, we thought this was a minor little scuffle. This sounds, <laughs> this sounds pretty We had a red dad on. Too, yeah, that's what I, I, I... Can I finish my sentence? <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a, 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 a tag team, two-on-two -two tag team action. So we've got multiple chances. It, boy, you do that again. What? I want to halfway through my sentence. Yeah, you but now yeah. We had a six man dad. We had a regular day. I mean, we had more. Yeah, we had multiples. That's what I was getting at. We've had multiple chances to tangle it up with these two very uh, uh, ferocious young men with an amazing amount of potential. And that nice. either one of them, I get either one of them to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, speaking I of. My, of I, I get your own son whoop your ass. Gannon, would you please take care of my light work? <laughs> I think he said, yeah, that's, oof. Oh, he's no better than that. <laughs> hey, don't listen to your uncle, boy. He's talking, uh, he talking stupid this evening. Oh, man, this is great stuff. Well, he probably, it's, he probably, it's... Wish, he probably wish he was his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> just panned out you know what i mean like this been coming to a head for a while and i mean we didn't really plan it like this but it's just so happy it's ring of honor 500th episode and 
Me and Chicken is just ready to whoop each other's ass. It's just the good Lord's timing. That's yeah. what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> like the there good Lord's timing to me. And not only that, we were supposed to wrestle in Las Vegas right, right. I flew out to Las Vegas. He had a later flight than me, but I flew out to Las Vegas getting ready to whoop his ass in March, right after that Nashville show in uh, March yeah. 2020. Yeah, for the anniversary show, I was ready to whoop his ass out there in Las Vegas. But then, great, great. <laughs> I took the wife out there with me. We laying, get up to the hotel room. He called me, what, no sooner than I got in the hotel room. He called me and said, yep, they told me not to come. Hey, the, the country of China released the, the virus just so I won't come over there and whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you in cahoots. In other words, you're in cahoots with the country of China. So you, you the one... Now who look like a dummy? You done admitted on national television that you the one if we could. Oh man! Put down the Fauci. We get Dr. Fauci. I would get Dr. Fauci to whoop your ass. Maybe, maybe Dr. Fauci could be the special guest referee during y'all's match. There you go. There you go. Okay, assuming you guys can settle your differences on the 500th episode coming up, what can we look forward to from the Briscoes and uh, for the rest of 2021? At this point, I ain't thinking about. It. I'm thinking about one thing and one thing only. Hey, you know what that is? Don't even make that face. That's whooping your way. I'm about to get. What? Wait. I'm about to go. I'm about to get in the truck. Go ahead, hop in the truck. This is going to be one of those things where we're hoping that this happens on the show and he just gets in because we're recording. <laughs> so he just pops it up on like one of those dashboard cams and we just see this all go down. Oh. I, 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 you, you lucky. I, <laughs> boy. Mm. Hey, this, can this man, is he even allowed me? I don't understand why y'all still got him on here. Why y'all ain't cut him off already? It would have been for itself. Why they got you on here? You, they ask you a question. Oh, you, 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 you in here being belligerent. Yo, you the ugliest man that's ever been on this podcast. <laughs> man, look at you. Look at you. This is great stuff. Been saying that, I hope you staring right dead in the mirror. <laughs> well, we did. We, right dead in the mirror. We did have Flip Gordon on, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Flip, Flip's a well, beautiful Flip man. Flip second ugly. <laughs> into the 500th episode and watch me whoop that boy's ass right now. <laughs> I'm about, I, I, your whole head gonna be lumped hey, up. Your truck. whole head gonna be lumped <laughs> You might not even be noticeable. Recognizable. <laughs> <laughs>